Hi, this screencast will show you how to make a simple third person controller with Playmaker. Here we have a simple scene, the ground plane, capsule, and a light. And we want to control this capsule with Playmaker. Since we're going to move this capsule around like a character, first thing we'll do is add a character controller to it. This will allow it to slide around objects and go upstairs, stuff like that. So with the capsule selected, right click in Playmaker and add a state machine. This gives you a start state. Let's call this walk. If you press play, you see that that state becomes active, but it doesn't do anything yet. We need to add some actions. So let's select that state and look in the action browser. This is a categorized list of actions that you can add to states. So let's look at input. The input category deals with user input. Unity uses an input manager that maps input from keys and game controllers to axes. So these two actions, get axis and get axis vector, let you access the input manager. So if we add get axis vector to the state, you can see it's measuring the horizontal axis and vertical axis. You can multiply it by some speed. Uh, map it to a plane in the world. XZ is the ground plane here. Uh, but if you were climbing a vertical wall, like in a God of War or something, you could use maybe uh, XY. And you can also make the motion relative to a camera, which is common for third person controllers. So we can just drag in the main camera into that parameter. So this gets the input, and now we need to store it in a variable. So in the variable manager, we can make a movement variable, vector, add that, and store the input in this movement variable. So now we want to do something with this movement variable. Uh, we can go to the character section, control a simple move, since this thing has a character controller on it, this action will move it add that to the state, and use the movement vector we stored from the input to move the controller around. So now if we hit play, we can use WASD to move the capsule around. Normally you'd want a character to face the direction of motion, so let's add an action for that. The action browser has a search field up here, so if you type in look, you can see some actions with look in, and smooth look at direction does what we want. So let's select the walk state, and add smooth look at direction. And we can use the movement vector that we measured earlier as the facing direction. Now when you press play, you can see the character smoothly faces the direction that it's moving in. Uh, we could also use a smooth look at on the camera to look at the character. So select the camera, add a state machine, call the state look at, add smooth look at, set the capsule as the target, Let's play. You see the camera smoothly tracking the character. So let's have a little bit more fun with the main camera. Let's uh, have it fade in from black. So we can add a fade in state. Search for fade, camera fade in. This will fade in from black. Let's make it a little slower over three seconds. Set that as a start state. Add a transition so that when it's finished, it goes to look at. And press play. You can see it fades in from black over three seconds. Transitions to look at. And now it tracks the character as it moves around.
Now let's add another state to the capsule. Let's say we want this guy to run as well as walk. We can copy the walk state, paste it, and call it run. Now in the run state, top the speed to 4. We can test this actually just by making it the start state. Press play. Let's see. Moves a lot quicker. So we want to set up a transition from the walk state to the run state. And we'll use a custom event called uh, run button down. And we'll also need run button up. So on run button down, we're going to run and run button up. We'll return to walk. So let's use get button down. So this also uses the input manager and defaults to fire one, which is a button on the controller or left control key on the keyboard. And when it's pressed down, we will send run button down. And to the run state, we'll add get button up and send the event run button up when we release the fire one button. So now let's test it out. Start off in the walk state using the cursor keys instead of WASD since there's conflict with control. Now if I hold down control, I enter the run state with the cursor keys and running. I can let go be back in the walk state. So basically I can switch between walk and run states with a button and do different things in each state. To wrap up this screencast, we'll uh, convert the walk speed and run speed to variables and expose them in the inspector to make it nice and tidy. So we'll add walk speed, run speed. We can select the walk speed and say Expose an inspector. Same for the run speed. Now instead of the hardwired speed here of 1, we can make it the walk speed. And in the run state, there's a run speed. Let's make sure the default values are good. Now, when I look at the capsule inspector, I see I have this FSM on it, and the run speed and walk speed are exposed here.